BB, can you hear me? Um, oh, this is great. I'm, I'm beaming out here. Uh, my computer hasn't even caught up yet. So um, I'm just going to sit here and talk amongst myself until, um, yeah, oh, I can just see some messages popping up on the screen. Nick, hi, Nick. Um, everything's just slowed right down. <laughs> the for, oh, no, it's, it, it's my, my computer springing into life uh, with an advert for a motorhome. So, and now we've got the, uh, which is this coming over? Uh, Sun Express, probably the, uh, the 1542 from Mallorca. Right, so, Shana says there he is. I'm just gonna wait until hopefully you can hear me. Can see you fine, thank you, Oliver. And Yuta can hear me. Well, Yuta, you're only down the road, so you probably don't even need the uh, microphone to hear me, so thank you. Um, thank you, Carl in Vienna, it's working. You can hear me, thank you, Shana. Hurrah, well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, obviously, this is the, the main purpose of this broadcast is to announce the winners of the NEC free tickets, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm outside my caravan, as you can see, on P1, which is the caravan and motorhome parking area at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. Um, they actually have a full time uh, caravan and motorhome facility here, not just for the caravan show, but for every exhibition that is held here at, Car at uh, Messe Dusseldorf. How civilized is that? Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great resource. The only downside being, of course, is um, you're right under the flight path for Dusseldorf Airport. And um, the Morello Motorhomes next door have just started having a bit of a party. So sorry if there's a bit of music interference going on. So some hellos. Oh, Anne's joined us. Hello, Anne. Anne Shirley. Andy Kerrish. Hello, Andy. And Rob said hello to you, Rob, earlier. So oh, I see you having a nice little chat in there. So what we're going to do today is have a very quick chat about Caravan Salon Dusseldorf, uh, answer any questions you might have. Um, now, you may remember too, oh dear, just before the, 18, the 1815 from Paris pulls in. Um, too late. This is... Kerendum, Kerendum Airlines. They sound a bit Greek to you. Hello, happy wanderer. Yeah, we're going to talk about um, Caravan Dusseldorf. Now, you may remember a couple of videos ago my trip here from Scotland with the EV and the caravan, and um, just sort of reported it as it was. I had some corkers of comments. Oh my word! So I thought, well, rather than just you know get frustrated, why don't we just have a bit of a laugh about some of them? Um, and then we do the draw for the NEC, so we hopefully hopefully keep it under the half hour. And hopefully we're going to have some special guests joining us as well. Um, but if not, I'll just go and um, find them. So, let's have a quick look at the comments and then we'll make a start. Rich, uh, oh hang on, no, um, Paul, hi, hi Paul. And Gillian in Halifax and Ian. Hello Mark, thank you. Richard White, um, not the Richard White. Um, Richard White was a big big cheese in Swift once, we used to call him the Great White. Um, and Rob Forrest, hi Rob. Uh, Pete Hudson, could you go and find a dream of DC? Sorry Pete, too late, off home tomorrow. Um, oh, that was the flight, oh, Rob, are you on um, Skyscanner or something? That was the flight from Antalya, Antalya. So it looks like Rob's gonna keep us up to date with what flights are coming in. So they are arrivals, Rob. Um, Tony Williams, EV6 owner but not a caravan yet. Well, thanks for joining us, Tony. Um, you're gonna love some of these comments I had to that video, Tony, of my trip from Scotland. Um, the boys in the Bailey, hello chaps. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Um, and Nick, Nick Vernon, so misses working at Caravan Salon and we miss you too, Nick. Nick used to work for BPW Chassis, but of course, um, now that Alco have taken that over, Nick, um, doesn't come to the caravan shows anymore. And we miss you, Nick. Um, cool Dude Scooter, very nice to meet you today. Oh, thank you, Cool Dude Scooter. Um, who's, who, who was that? I met a lot of lovely, I've met a lot of lovely people here today. I re well, over the week. Uh, Jim from Motorhome Fun is here as well. So if there's any Motorhome Funsters in the audience, special hello to Motorhome Funsters. Um, uh, and Shirley, um, still bunged up. Yeah, um, 
don't know why. Um, oh, hello from Sunny Bolton, from Jane. Hello, Jane. As it was, I love your name, as it was. Um, thank you. And Carl in Vienna. So, yeah, Caravan Salon Dusseldorf, it has been busy, very busy. And obviously the, the big question on everyone's um, minds is, you know, how long is this sustainable for? With the chassis shortage um, from Stellantis, Stellantis is Fiat, uh, Peugeot, Citroen. Um, and the difficulties the manufacturers are having. What's that, Rob? That's Turkish Airlines. Is that the one that you thought was from Antalya? Anyway. Um, yeah, so there are some very long lead times now. And basically what's happening is, is that if people want to buy a motorhome or a caravan here at the show, caravans aren't too bad. Um, sort of six month lead times, six months to a year. Uh, but motorhomes are the, the issue. Um, because of the chassis supply issues. And um, yeah, if people want motorhomes now, they basically have to sign on the dotted line and hand over a deposit with no idea of how long it's gonna be or how much it's gonna cost. And they're still doing it. People are still buying leisure vehicles under those circumstances. So it, it seems a bit, wow, you know, but people are still desperate to get into a motorhome or a caravan. Um, so the, the, the short answer is everyone is still buying their dream leisure vehicle. And I think that people are just prepared to, to wait. Oh, and speaking of worth the wait. Hello. Is Melly from Happy Camping. Hi, Melly. Hi. How Me are you? Melly and the guys gave me a lovely happy birthday, didn't you? Yeah, we tried. Oh you my did. God, sorry. Sorry, she's just knocked over all the equipment flying. Yeah, yeah. that's my talent. Uh, yeah. So if you don't know Happy Camping on YouTube, yes. just, just Happy Happy Camping. It's a very happy channel, but it is in German. It is in German, I, of course, I do, yes. I do find it hard to... Oh, hi, Melly from Anne. Yeah. So you're having a good show? Very good show. Are you on stage, aren't you? Yeah, today was the first time. And what are you talking about? Uh, today was the topic um, arriving at the uh, camping place for the first time. That's a good idea. Yeah. What do yeah. you have to think of? What is important? How do you plan your trip? Like, do you use Google Maps or do you use the internet? Something like that. That's a really good idea to steal, borrow for our show at the NEC. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I might just borrow that for, for, the, for our show in October. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Yeah, cool. So many nice so, people yeah. here. So many, so many nice people here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And you're not just on your own in Happy Camping. There's a team of five of you, is there? Or? Uh, the, you the and yeah, it's me and Stefan, but there are a lot of people in the background helping, helping. us with the uh, Facebook group and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, so. it's a cool, cool organization. Yeah. yeah, but I don't want to interrupt too long. But it's always lovely to have you here, mate. Yeah, thank you. It's so good to have you here. Oh, I love this woman, <laughs> <laughs> and I love okay. to dance for you. Oh, and she loves. She's a fabulous next, dancer. Next year again. Okay, next year again. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Bye bye. Bye, Melly. That was our first special guest. She is just so lovely. Oh, she is so lovely. I love that woman. Right. Um, what was I saying before I was so happily interrupted? Yeah, about the show. Um, let's have a very quick look at the comments while I'm while I'm all um, all over the place. Well, we've got Andy and Petra are watching. I don't know why they're watching because they could just they're just there actually. Petra has been cooking my food for. I've had full board while I've been here. I mean. These guys have been looking after me so well. Um, I've put on about 10 kilos. Um, and it's just so nice that you know that, you know, I had a puncture on my bicycle. So Petra lo loaned me her bicycle. And when I come back, Andy had fixed my puncture. I mean, that's how well I'm being looked after. Um, it really is. Um, we've got all faith here. Oh, Vaughan Wagen life. Hi, guys. Um, we met up in Scotland. That was lovely. Um, oh, Simon's here from Ingram Cars, probably got a bottle of Cardinet on the go. Um, and Michael, Michael Ashoya, Guten Abend, Mikael. Um, oh, Air Fungus from Dublin is in two minutes. So, is this Air, Air Fungus? Yes! You, Rob, you were right, Air Fungus from Dublin. Um, he's good, he's good, he, he's good, that guy. Um, Oh, Anne's just bought an electric bike. Oh my goodness, look out, look out um, Birmingham. 
Um, and Rob, he's enjoying the EV series. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, Rob. So yeah, anyway, quickly back to Caravan Salon, otherwise we'd be here all night. Um, yeah, it's a thriving, throbbing show. Um, to give you an idea of size, the NEC is normally about five halls and Caravan Salon Dusseldorf is 18 halls. It is the biggest caravan and motorhome show in the world. Uh, it is just enormous. It's over 736 exhibitors from 34 countries. We've got some uh, familiar British names here. We've got Glorning, um, we've got the guys from Glorning. Um, they'll be at the NEC. Um, today I saw Mike from Prestige Motorhomes. He's on the Morello stand. Yes, I have just videoed the three quarters of a million pound, 12 meter long, 26 ton Morello motorhome. Uh, that's coming up. Um, yeah, so there's a few of us here. Um, where are we? Oh, we got a hello from Stephen in Stonehaven and Antonio from, is, is there the McLuhy in Caravacilla? Hello from Spain. Antonio, McLuhy. Ah, McLuhy. Some of the smaller brands aren't here, like Corrado, Etrusco and that. Owen oh, Heimer are here, but some of the smaller brands aren't. Um, so yeah, anyway, and yes, Rob, thank you for the flight info, we're loving it. So that's kind of all I want to say about Caravan Salon. Plenty of videos coming up. Um, I have found, thank you if you're watching Moira Gloucestershire. She pointed me in the direction of an all electric camper van. Um, it's on a Mercedes EQV chassis. Uh, it's a pop top camper van. It can do 200 miles. It's all electric, 120,000 euro though. Um, that's come, that video hopefully will be out on Friday. Um, on Wednesday, I should be doing the second highlights video. Um, still got one more to do to film on that one. Um, and I want to go see tomorrow. This afternoon, the lovely Layla arrived from Bosnia, Herzegovina at um, Darubi's caravan. So I want to go see her. Um, but yeah, got plenty of exciting stuff coming up, folks. So there's, even though I'm leaving Caravan Salon tomorrow, the videos will carry on for another couple of weeks yet, because um, obviously I can't be at the show and editing at the same time. So that's that. Um, hello, Handy Andy. Um, and oh yeah, ho ho, let's, hey ho, let's tow. Nice fan, hey, my 304. Right then, um, I'm gonna crack on now with some of the, comments I had because I didn't know what to do it get you know sometimes sometimes it gets a bit gutty it's like you know Kia is not interested in what I'm doing um, Gridserve is not interested in what I'm doing Ionity is not interested in what I'm doing the Caravan and Motorhome Club is not interested in what I'm doing nobody's interested in what I'm doing except you beautiful people so I'm feeling quite alone in my little pioneering crusade at the moment it's not even a crusade it's just this is what feels right this is what I want to do I want to slow down tread a little bit lightly lighter on the, on the earth and I want to just yeah slow down and enjoy the journey and so I'm kind of left on my own sometimes with some of these comments so I'm going to share them with you today um, and also if Roger Starkey is watching i want to say a massive thank you to roger roger starkey he has oh something just happened there um he has stepped in and helped me with some of the comments too so massive thanks to you roger if you're not interested if you're um if you're watching uh rob well um let's just say um i will not my, my services have been um uh for now so yeah, I bought the car in May, in March, and um, since then, my, my services to the industry have been rested. Read what you like into that. Um, so one of my first, we, we, oh yes, Andy. Andy just over there in the motorhome. Or are you over there, Andy? Um, yes, we, I know you love me. And, and poor Andy and Petra, they've been getting the brunt of it. Um, oh, these guys are just so wonderful here. You, I, I come here for the love, not for the, not for the motorhomes. Um, green cars will never be any use. Right, so the fact I just went from the Outer Hebrides to Dusseldorf with a caravan in an EV with no major issue. Um, a third of the, 
half the price of bringing a other car and going by the tunnel. But other, but of course, you know, they're no use, no use at all, no use at all. Okay, this is the good one. How frustrating is it to have to disconnect the trailer at every stop? How much time does it add to each stop? How close are you able to park to the chargers most of the time? So that was one comment. Um, how frustrating is it? A little bit. It's inconvenient, um, but it's not frustrating because what's frustrating about it? It's inconvenient, but it's not frustrating. How much time does it add to each stop? If you watch the video, I explain that I allow 15 minutes before charging and 15 minutes after for what I call the faff. Rob, what's that? Norwegian, good grief, are they still flying? Where's that from, Rob? Is that from Oslo? Um, I think Rob. Rob Rob's, Rob's uh, he's abandoned his, uh, his position. Um, yeah, and how close are you able to park to chargers most of the time? Did you not watch the video? You know, it's like in Peterborough, it was close. In Gretna Green, it wasn't close. In Dordrecht, it was close. Um, oh, Oslo, thank you. Oh, we just got Richard joined us from New Junction. Hello, Richard. Uh, ro railway modeling royalty there. Um, Richard, Richard, Richard. Um, and one day, Richard will invite me to his new layout, won't you, Richard? Right. Um, as a caravan journalist, you know that leaving your caravan unattended as you charge your EV is only going to end one way. So some person then added, what, you think he'll leave it behind? I think they might be um, referring to the security angle. Um, obviously, I do secure my caravan very well because funnily enough I'm quite attached to it um, and yeah uh, Milenko are doing well out of me at the moment um, but here's the thing obviously to keep that video at a watchable length I had to cut a lot of the, lot of the detail and in the Outer Hebrides where I live we don't get the opportunity to really have fast food and it's my guilty pleasure. You know, we, we don't have a McDonald's or a Burger King or a KFC or a Pizza Hut or a Pizza Express or an Ask or anything like that. So my dirty secret is that if I'm on the road, um, and, and not every, just once now and again, I like a Burger King. I like a plant-based burger and fries. Burger King do the best fries. At Gretna Green, it took 14 minutes to charge the car. I then reunited the car with the caravan. I went to go and get my burger. I queued and waited longer than 14 minutes for my burger than I did for my car to charge. So what's the difference between leaving your car and caravan for 30 minutes secured? I hesitate to add, you should always leave it secured. What's the difference between leaving your car and caravan to go and queue for a burger or charge your car up? I mean, I know, yeah, you know, it's not ideal to leave your car and caravan at any time, but seriously. Um, oh, this is another corker. We don't have the time to leapfrog to our destination. So you drive non-stop, right? Um, I, I did comment in, in that video that actually, had I not stopped in the Netherlands that night, because hey, slow travel, why would you not stop on an organic farm and just chill before coming to Dusseldorf. I could have got to Dusseldorf five hours later than if I'd come via Euro Tunnel in my Navara. Five hours. But I won back seven hours on the ferry. Now I know I'm a freelance journalist, so I'm working and I'm filming and I'm doing all the things, but I'm actually two hours better off by leapfrogging to my destination. But they, these people don't have time to do that. And I thought the whole point of that video was rearranging time. It's not necessarily longer, it's just using your time differently. But anyway, this is another corker. Are you tricking us 
or did you use footage from both caravans? Did, did I not say that I was going to Darlington to get a new caravan and it was going to be really interesting to compare a 1500 kilo caravan to a thousand kilo caravan? Did I? No, obviously I'm tricking people. Oh gosh, help me people, help me. Um, right, um, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to have a look at your comments because I hope you're having a good old titter at all this. I've only got two more to go. Family here, they went from um, the Channel Tunnel to the Spanish border, and I quote, virtually no charging points between the Channel Tunnel and the Spanish border. Good people of France, bonsoir. Je suis très heureux de vous voir ici. Now, I've worked in France for many years. The French are beautiful, lovely, kind, gregarious, funny, strong-willed, wonderful people. France is also quite an advanced country. I remember at the age of 15 in Clermont-Ferrand being impressed because they had all the items listed on the till receipt when in the UK we still had, you know, 20 pence, 30 pence, 40 pence. Yeah. France is not a third world country. France is a very advanced country. France gave us the TGV. Air Baltic, where's that from, Rob? Um, France is a very progressive country. I think there's more than virtually no charging points between the Channel Tunnel and the Spanish border. Last one. We're going from West Yorkshire to Fort William in a day. That would not be possible in an EV. <laughs> Towing a caravan. Um, so Fort William's sort of two hours more than um, Killin, where I started my trip, where I ended up in Yorkshire. Um, and I kind of explained when I did the, the 90 minute stop that it was purely just to really check out Stirling and because it was over 80% the battery, the, I had to charge on a slow charge and if I was in a hurry I would have gone to Bothwell services at Glasgow and used a fast charger and I would have saved um, 75 minutes on that trip 75 minutes just a bit longer than it takes to get to Fort William from Killin um, so the video where I go from Stirlingshire which is two hours on from Fort William to, to Yorkshire in a day is not possible Help me, people. Help me. Right, that's enough of that. I'm going to look at your guys. Andy, there's no need to be so... Come and say... Oh, Josie! Sorry, excuse me. Josie. Josie, I'm going to come, I've got to come to your comments. Josie, come here, darling. Oh, no, she's a bit more wriggly than Dougal. Um, oh, dear, I've got plenty of uh, lovely... No, no, Josie's gone for a bit of a wonder. Um, you may have to pass it to me, Andy. <laughs> here's, here's the next special guest. So I, 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 I'm missing Dougal terribly. And this is my Dougal substitute. Thank you, Andy. This is Welcome. Josie. Josie. She's a Jack Russell too, and she's also 11. And she's very, but she does smile. She's always smiling and she's very wriggly. Look, look at that smile. <laughs> look at it. You're always smiling, aren't you, Josie? Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> bye bye Josie. Right, have a quick look at your comments. I'm dying to look at these. Dying to look at these. Um, oh dear. So, um, oh hello from Sweden. Hey, I want to come to Sweden next year. Look out. Um, I would like to stay in Germany. Antonio, you'd be very welcome to Ant um, Antonio. So many nationalities here. Um, oh, Sport Beast 1963 will visit the show tomorrow. Um, I'll be there for two hours in the morning. Um, th thank you, Rob. Um, uh, oh, we've done that. Stonehaven, Handy Andy, hello. Um, oh, uh, Nico. In the Netherlands, that electric camper van is already for. Yes, Nico, um, I've seen it from Tonka. Um, and it's coming on this channel here on Friday. 
the all-electric Mercedes camper van from the Netherlands. Oh, so progressive, those Dutch. Carl, is the base camp for that? No, we've only got the base camp two. It's in the new colors. Um, I covered it in yesterday's video, day before. Um, also, we had the Norwegian from Oslo. Thank you, Rob. Um, it's a great fare. Hello, uh, Zoli. Zoli, hello, Zoli. Um, cheers, commuter branch line. Um, Oh, Andy, yeah, given what you cheat, has it cemented your decision to take the EV route? Yeah, um, I think one thing I did not stress enough in that video was how wonderful it is. I was just trying to be so factual about it and so matter of fact that I wasn't actually waxing lyrical, that it was smooth, quiet, relaxing, uh, no headache. Um, and I'm not being defensive when I say if you offered me was a tiny jet that one Rob tiny 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 um, if you offered me my old car an Airstream and full refund back to just go back to where I was 12 months ago with no financial loss would I do it absolutely not no I I, I would miss the serenity of towing with the EV and just you know just maneuvering on site just yeah the, the big issue, the big issue, as you've all seen, is the lack of pull-through chargers. I had one, one person today, and I agree with them, is that the charging network so far, as I say, no one's interested. No one's interested in cars towing. I, I emailed GridServe the week before I visited the electric forecourt, asking if uh, there was a pull-through facility or a towing facility. Um, asking if someone could come and talk to me about what GridSurf's plans were. I've got an acknowledgement from the PR company saying, yeah, well, we'll look into it. Nothing, just nothing. So um, I'm gonna start banging that drum a bit harder when I'm finished in, in, um, in, in Dusseldorf. So, oh, cool dude scooter, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, yes, ho, hey ho, let's tow. Green cars, smaller, smaller caravans, the future. I mean, yeah. Um, Nico, just wait, electric camper vans will take over the world. Yeah, because an electric camper van is going to have all the advantages of what I'm doing with none of the faff. So, um, yeah, I think you're right, Nico. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, toast with a 21 year old 4.3 petrol V8, but can't afford to go anywhere. I mean, that's the thing, I still love petrol and diesel and stuff it's just this is just what I, what I do it's just what I fancy doing um, oh thanks Richard Dougal is welcome anytime not me Dougal yeah thanks Richard noted um, oh thank you Simon yeah early adopter like my dad um, yeah and again you know we all know that the the greenest car there is is the car you already have um, people spell that out to me sometimes as if I don't know it but my my point is if you are going to spend £45,000 on the car which people do why would you spend it now on a, on a combustion engine car unless you know you really did need it like um, you know if you had to if you knew you had to do long journeys at short notice um, if you knew you had to do a lot of towing um, with few brakes, then yeah, but yeah, anyway. Uh, yes, oh, hi, Monica. Oh, I didn't tell you another story, did I? Um, my cousin from Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Laura, she came out to visit me in the Outer Hebrides with her son, Cameron. I took them around the, the island for a few days in the car and they had a Ford, I think it was a Ford F-150 or something, did 10 miles to the gallon. She went back to the States, sold the Ford, and she's bought an EV6. <laughs> so yeah, that's another one turned. Um, oh, thank you, Michelle. Michelle Thomas, very kind. Oh, Air Baltic was coming in from Vienna. Thank you. Please do a, a live with Dan Trush and Gore. We've, we've done one before in the past, Gary. Um, I'll have to see if the, uh, the old geezer's at Dusseldorf, if he's up for it. Um, yeah, everyone to their oh, it's just jumped. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Everyone to their own. 
Um, really is. Well, that was the Learjet. So what's this one, Rob? Uh, Lufthansa. So, oh, Gaetan, bonsoir, bonsoir. Um, Adrian, I should be sponsored by Kia and the EV charging companies. Yeah, I wish. Um, oh, driving the Frontier, um, late to the party. That's all right. That's all right. We don't mind. Right. Anyway, um, now we get on to the, next, the, the main part because we've been half an hour. Um, and that is the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show, which is happening from Tuesday the 18th of October to Sunday the 23rd of October. You will not be able to buy tickets at the door. Um, oh, hello from Houston. We got, we got the United States in the house. Yeah, thank you. Um, you will not be able to buy tickets to the NEC show at the door. You must buy them online. You can buy them nearer the time, but if you buy them before the show starts on the 17th of October and use the ticket code MCHAD, um, you get a discount. They're £11.50 and a £1.25 transaction fee applies. So um, I don't know if Shana would be able to put, put that up for us, but yeah, um, the show, advanced tickets only, online, mcshow.co.uk, and there's the code, thank you Shana, there's the ticket code if you want cheaper tickets. If you don't win in the draw, that is Euro Wings, Rob. So, we have had, I've got to put my glasses on again for this, we have had 80 entries. Can you see that? 80 entries. Now, part of the deal was that you had to subscribe to my newsletter and leave, um, leave what you were looking for in a motorhome or caravan there. Um, I have had a wonderful time reading everyone's answers about what they look for in a caravan, camper van or a motorhome. And there is one thing in common with all of them, and that is they have absolutely nothing in common with, any, with each other. So it kind of explains why there is such a wide choice of caravans and motorhomes out there, because everyone was looking for something quite different. And there was some really good answers as well. Um, people were saying things like, you know, parts availability. Hello from Hong Kong. Hello, Hong Kong. Well, I wish we had, had a map where we could color, you know, chart everything. Um, so yeah, 80 people have entered, but with Substack, I've got everyone's email addresses and I've got everyone's names, but the names, I don't know whose email address is what. So um, what I'm going to ask you is if you win, um, could you drop another comment on Substack to that newsletter with the, just the first part of your email address? So if, for example, your name is John Smith, and your email address is um, the dog's dad at Hotmail and John Smith wins, can you just leave a note to say that you are the dog's dad? Do you see what I mean? So, we ready for the first of five pairs of free tickets. Tap to spin. Chris Hatton, Chris Hatton, well done. I should be writing this down, shouldn't I? Um, Shana, twin, please could you write these down for me, thank you. Chris Hatton, congratulations. I'm gonna take your name off and we're gonna start again. Hello, Andrew from Hanover, Porsche 993. Hello, Hanover, that's not too far for you to come and give me a lift in your Porsche, is it? Is this Rachel Bray? Congratulations, Rachel. So take your name off. That's the second pair of free tickets. And here we go again. Shanks. So Shanks, unless your um, email address is shanks at, um, can you just leave a comment on Substack with what the first part of your email address is, not the full address, and I will make sure you get your tickets. Thank you. Removed. 
That's three, isn't it? I think we've had three, haven't we? I think so. I'm not very bright at this sort of thing. Yeah, right. Here we go again. Yes, thank you, Shina. Damien McKay, McKay McAvoy. Um, some of these might be a bit spell checked as I had to write 80 names out. So if it looks right and it's you, so Damien McKay, McKay boy. So congratulations, Damien. And take your name off. Last one. Last one. Black country man. Congratulations, black country man. You've won yourself a pair of free tickets. Right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the rest of the names on there because I can just leave them on there. And if I can't get through to some of these people within the next sort of week or so, um, I'll do a couple of draws for the next, for the next two, how many, how many winners we need, so. Um, can I clarify for Rob, please? What have I, what have I got to clarify? Um, <laughs> my leather pants. Okay, let's leave that out of it. Um, right. So, um, that's really about all we have time for this week. Um, I'm really, really grateful that, well, the 4G held out. I'm really grateful you've all joined us. Hello, Daniel. I hope you've all had um, a lovely bank holiday weekend. Um, thank you, Shana, too, for helping us. Oh, Ireland's here, Jimmy. Um, what do I think about trailer tents? Trailer tents, very aerodynamic. Trailer tents are fine if you're going to be in one place, but not so great for touring. However, the camplet ones, the fold-out kitchen at the back, um, they're pretty cool. Um, Oh, you like the debt less, Simon? Thank you. So, um, I think that's gonna be roughly it. I'm just gonna, oh no, these are old, Anne. These are old specs. Just gonna take you now on a very quick little tour of P1 and then we'll finish off. Um, Cause I just wanna show you what Happy Camping have done with their pitch. Can I turn this around? Yeah. So I hope I don't lose the signal, but this is the Happy Camping pitch. It's so cute. So as I say, I don't want to go too far from Andy's motorhome, so I lose the signal. But um, yeah, three happy camping caravans there. Cute little freedom. Uh, St Stefan's huge Knaus Tabot, and then Melly's Melly's cute little Adria on the end there. But as I say, I don't want to don't want to venture too far from um, Andy and Petra's Bursner Harmony Line Lisio M, um, that they got. Apparently, because some, someone took a Bursner Harmony line to, uh, on a skiing trip. I don't know who that was. Um, and there's my little baby. Um, yeah, really happy with it so far. Really, really happy with the caravan. Um, I think you all know how much I enjoyed the Bailey Discovery last year. Simplicity itself. Um, yeah, there's the gang. Give us a, give us a wave, everybody. <laughs> servus, servus. Thank you, Shirt. Oh, moin. <laughs> so we got the South and the North represented. Um, super. Okay, so yeah, this is it. This is life on P1. Um, thank you so much, Shana, for moderating and for uh, plugging the NEC. Yeah, I'll be at the NEC giving talks every day about the uh, Ghost Galochna Pass. So I've got to present, uh, prepare that presentation yet. Um, but obviously the, the thing is, because I won't be judging at the NEC this time, um, when I'm not on stage, um, then I should be free to chat. Um, there's no Campervan Advice Centre either this year. so. 
Um, oh, hello, Josie. So yeah, I'll, I'll be around. I'll have much more time to chat at this uh, NEC show. Um, so yeah, see you there, Anne. Um, and yeah, if anyone's just got any questions or anything, um, we look forward to seeing you. So thank you, people. Uh, thank you, people. Yes, I'm just sort of reading Shana's a great, uh, a great group of people here. Yes, you are all lovely. And <coughs> excuse me. Um, you, you don't know sometimes how much the that support means especially when you're you're on your own and you get a few idiots who have left just the most numpty comments uh sometimes very offensive i do remove those quite quickly um but yeah um and then you get lovely people like people watching tonight and it just makes it all worth it so thank you thanks for joining us folks do you want to bring josie around um it just leads me to say from Andy from Petra, from Camper Toby, who's obviously shy tonight, from Happy Camping, from Veersind Camper, and from Josie, and from me, thanks for tuning in. There. What do you reckon, Josie? What do you reckon? Are you excited about the NEC? Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Is she smiling? Yeah. She's always smiling. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye. Right, how do I turn this off?